beautiful day in Colorado. Um, end of August, weather's been a bit odd this year. It's been like, we haven't had any like long baking days or maybe not a few, but a lot of rain. It hammered it down about, you know, an hour or two ago. So I guess the, the upside of that is all the, the zero escape we did last year and planted of trees kind of tree central uh, are doing really well so that that's really nice anyway so back to the case in point um picked up a pair of 1969 honda ct90s so um one of them this was kind of disassembled but most of it was there and i got it back together i'm waiting i'm actually putting the old seat off my 110 on this and um i bought a brand new seat for my 110 so that's that one and then this is the other, and looks like they've both been sold to D&K. So if, you, uh, if you're looking at this video in uh, 2024, just note the number plates on the back of these. The DCR870 and DMY204, um, both Colorado bikes. And so um, many, much, quite a bit of the stuff I've sold to D&K has ended up on the, ended up, well, the, you know, well, it all ends up in the UK, but people have contacted me because they seem, because inevitably I've made a video about the bike and they've, um, I said, hey, I've got this bike now. So anyway, um, you know, these are 69. So these are these are kind of the earlier CT90s. And so they're, they're not CT200s, which are even earlier. I might have made a video on one of those. But this is, it's still got that kind of ubiquitous Honda motor. And whoever designed that motor, whatever team designed that motor, probably never envisaged that, like, you know, it's going to be made and, and, and made literally in, in the millions, right? But, you know, the, these earlier ones, so I think 70, they might change to 70, 71. But look at this. It's got the forward-facing carburetor, okay? So, and then the air cleaner's up here um, through the frame. And the later ones have an air cleaner that's on that's on the side there, and the carburetor faces the, let's call it the conventional way. These also have the cantilever front fork as well. So um, the suspension on these is, um, uh, I guess, on your road, you could call it adequate but um, but the telescopic forks, I think, are a little bit better. So, like I said, I purchased these off an elderly gentleman uh, for a few hundred bucks and uh, sold them to D&K for a few more hundred bucks. Um, you know, not much to say, really. Like I said, these earlier CT90s have a different shift pattern. So my, 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 trail, my trail 110 is four up, and these might be four down or three down even i can't remember all i remember is that when i had one of these running i'd ride it i'd always like go to change from like second to third and end up going from like second to first uh you know and the engine the piston would try and jump out of the, the engine so you know by 1969 you know these did have the the high low right i'll use this one but they did have the high low ratio the little button there which is a a must if you have these they have the the holes in the back the provision for the auxiliary gas tank but they don't actually have them but again they're not the ones that have the giant sprocket um of earlier ones where you actually had two sprockets and you you, you and the length of chain came with them and you change it to change the ratio so again you know just the same really 17 inch wheels um you know the gas tank under the seat that holds about 1.3 gallons will probably you know you can probably do a shade over 100 miles on that um you know uh they don't have a rev counter speedo this one's actually so when they have a they don't have a clutch but when you have it here that's the that's that actuates the rear brake uh or in, <laughs> or maybe not in this case and that one this one has provision for it but it's not fit because say both of these are the, are the exact same uh model so they have the earlier tail light um you know but th this one this one it's meant to run i never bothered getting it running uh because i couldn't be asked uh, it needed a battery, I think. This one didn't run, and I didn't. I didn't bag it. I just cleaned them up a little bit. It's got a, it's got an auxiliary seat here, just a pillion pad that's just kind of fixed onto there. Um, you know, the the front brakes on the. It's got a front brake and a rear brake, um, and the the rear brake also on the handlebar as well. Um, but there's there's not a lot to be said, honestly. If you if you're buying a a CT90 or CT110 in my mind, um, I'd go for the later ones um with the with the backward facing carb and the and the telescopic forks uh i think they run a little better um or they did yeah but they look better as well they don't have that kind of gray kind of thing this thing here uh on it it's, it's actually got a, a frame cover um 
Again, not really much to say about these. I thought I'd just take this video to say I'd found a couple. And they, you know, I have a wanted ad out there and, and these things show up regularly. And I know where there's probably about half a dozen of them. But it is interesting that I, I advertise for wanting a CT110, but I'll take a CT90 as well. And, you know, various things, uh, various things showed up. Uh, but a couple of people offered me sub thousand mile CT110s, but they were like 4,500 bucks for them, which is just, in my mind, it's like, well, I'm never going to pay it. Uh, somebody else. Somebody else could. So again, you know, the, these early ones have these funny metal, these funny metal foot pegs that don't seem to have any rubbers on them, but that one's had some rubbers put on them and they've also put a rubber on the brake pedal. Um, you know, the rack's slightly different at the back. I think the frame, I don't know, maybe the frame's different. I don't know. But in all, in all intents and purposes, they're the same. So like I said, I picked these up too. Actually, off an elderly gentleman who'd retired from the company that I worked for in 2004 and I didn't, check him out at work and a couple of people still remembered who he was so uh they did both than a handful of miles seven thousand and change or something like that in fact now i'm looking at these side by side i'm noticing that this has actually slipped down and it should actually be the exhaust shield should actually be further up there um you know what are you going to do on this maybe 40 mile an hour maybe 70 80 or 90 to the gallon um it said they're going to be a reasonable ride and so again, if you if you're in the UK and it's like mid 2024 and you've got one of these two bikes, then uh, they came from a very nice man called Larry in Loveland, Colorado. I really don't have much to say about these uh, actually because they they just kind of are what they are. I'm sure there's a million videos out there. Like I said, the 110 is the best of the of the lot, but um, the later 90s with the telescopic fork and the and they might have a different gear shift as well. I can't remember. Um, that the later 90s are, are a better buy than the early 90s this this that being said you know these are 69 so they're both 50 54 years old so not bad what both of them got keys one of them's got a, a title the other one does not um so anyway i just thought i said i just thought i'd share that with you i'll just give them a quick quick walk around here actually did, i spent quite a bit of time cleaning the paint up on these and they they buffed up really really nice you spent a lot of time buffing the paint on that thing as well that now has a, a throttle body the size of a bucket um and, a, and some very big headers on it as large injectors very small supercharger pulley uh, tune on the ecu and uh yeah headers and uh what else oh i can't remember anyway it's probably pushing 600 horsepower which is quite interesting actually it's quite lively i will make a video about that but again two honda ct90s not giving you too much information here because I don't think there's just there isn't really much to say other than they're uh, other than they're quite fun. All right, and the sun is setting, and I'm with a ranger friend of mine. There he is, Mr. Voodoo Ranger. Good, nice, nice dropper by PA. If you ever get the ever get the chance. All right, I'll get out of the sun. Two CT nineties. Like I said, if you're in the UK and you buy one of these from D and K, you know they're nice. They're nice little bikes. All right, see ya.